Yeah, just very briefly, uh, you know, the group that was uh, represented here this morning, I, I know that they have an ideological opposition to advertising. So that, that's something that I certainly don't share with them. But they have to be commended and thanked for, the, for doing a public service because I, I can't speak to uh, most of the signs uh, on this list because I've probably never seen them or if I have, I didn't notice them. But I certainly know pretty much uh, all the ones that they listed uh, in Ward 5 and I know a few of the ones that they've listed in Ward 6 are in fact illegal in the sense that they were put up without any permit, without any approval, and others uh, were changed after approvals were given, and they're no longer in compliance with the approvals. Clearly there's a problem. Clearly the industry uh, knows uh, that the city is lax in enforcement because these are very expensive signs to install. Uh, major investments, and uh, they wouldn't be spending 50000 a 100000 or more installing something if they knew that uh, a few weeks or a month or two months or even six months later, the sign's going to get removed. Uh, they know that they get away with it. So we have to start somewhere, and uh, this group has done, uh, done us a public service. I just hope that uh, uh, we also uphold... Uh, the bylaws for the most part, and I hope that, that staff have the resources to actually deal with this in, a, in an effective manner. Okay, are 